I'm trying my best. I'm too scared to put my arm, my rod up from under my arm. I'll get my stick, baby. I'm got coming. It. Hey. I'm coming. <laughs> it's just like yesterday. You turn up. It's the first couple of casts. You want to put all your work into those ones. I think after the fish have seen your lures and you've had a couple of hookups, they just get onto you straight away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming up quick, man. I can't believe I pulled the hooks on my one. If you'd landed the first one you hooked, I think I'd be a little bit upset. <sighs> oh, that is awesome, dude. Mate, they don't muck around with the lures, eh? Nah. They just engulf them. I'm nervous. I want this fish in the boat so badly. I got him, bro. Beautiful, bro. <sighs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, I wanted that fish so bad. I was almost having nightmares last night about GTs. That one wasn't getting off, eh? <sighs> you have no idea how badly I wanted to get that fish in the boat. It's awesome how GTs are so, they're really calm. They let you pick them up, let you pose them with it for a photo. They don't thrash around, which is a good thing because these scoots on the back are amazingly sharp. I think GTs have got to be some of the most travelled for fish on the planet. Every time I talk to someone and they're off to some exotic location to go fishing, Oman or Papua New Guinea or something like that, they've always got GT at the end of them. And I can see why the surfer strikes the fight. Beautiful fish. I'd happily travel half around the world for one too. I love how they're so calm. They just let you do what you need to do with them. And then they just coast away. The giant Trevally has gained respect around the globe for its insane.